hoping that this is a lot ruder than the TV because they can get away with it. I just think that ace, you know, absolutely excellent. <laughs> There is no better physical humour. Money on alarm clocks, I suppose. <laughs> hey ho, another day. Good morning, world. You bastard. <laughs> no, come along, Richie, that won't do. Put on a nice face for the day. <gasps> yes, that's a lovely one. <laughs> Good, right, let's see. What's for breakfast? Oh, ta -da, ta -da. Oh, ta -da. oh, blimey! Yogurt, but if you want to eat it, you're gonna have to shave it first. <laughs> uh, there's also a sausage, but it appears to have already been digested twice. <laughs> and there's also a rather unpleasant and completely useless piece of human excrement in there. <laughs> uh, but I think that might just be Graham Taylor. <laughs> This morning, me old buster. I'll have a curry. <laughs> no, you bloody well won't. The one you had last night's got a half life of 500 years. <laughs> you should have your rectum sealed in concrete and dumped in the North Sea. <laughs> now come on downstairs and eat your breakfast before Saddam Hussein gets a whiff of your bot and tries to dump you on the curds. <laughs> right out. Right. Right, come along, Richie. Breakfast time, nothing in the house. So use your imagination. Improvise. Uh... <laughs> Got it! We'll skip breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. Stupid oopid. Come along, Richie. Must be something in the cupboard. <laughs> ah! Shelves! <laughs> There must be loads of gear in there. <gasps> Fantastic! Oh, blimey, look out! Here comes another one! <laughs> in my trousers in the fall. <laughs> you haven't seen my glasses, have you? Uh, yes, Eddie, yes, they're on your face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the other glasses. One had scotch in it, the other had gin. <laughs> Carrying them all the way out from the pub in my pockets. So I'm bugging if I'm giving up on the little bastards now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey! It's all gone dark! 
Help! Help! I'm going blind! <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Eddie, thank heavens there's someone technical in the house. <laughs> Another perfectly good pair of underpants ruined! <laughs> I'm off back to bed. Who oh, no, Eddie, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> what? Special K! <laughs> What's so special about it? Well, it's food. Is it? Yeah! Look, righto, I'm on. <sighs> Fantastic. Special K, my favourite. Past its sell by date. <laughs> right, breakfast up. I'll divide it up. <clears throat> At all. <laughs> Shit. Special K. It keeps you fit. <laughs> and it makes you poo regularly. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Eating a brick every morning. Yeah. <sighs> 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 Sniff the milk, you crazy mad fool! 
Uh, 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 oh, good. He's coming round. Uh, <laughs> Where am I? It's all right. You're safe at home with me. Oh, fuck. Give me the milk. No, Itchy, no. It's too dangerous. Just say no. <laughs> but I love being unconscious. Very well. <laughs> now, little down and eat your brick. Righto. Oh, but I can't eat it, Eddie. It's too dry for a guy like me. <laughs> I have just the very thing. Oh. Oh. Probably not after eat this lot. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Hey, hey. Hair of the dog. <laughs> no, I think it's a pube. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yes. Who? I see what you mean. Hair of the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was a bit of a good old time down the pub last night, wasn't it? Who could have believed it? A looking at the lamb and fly. It's a pity it was in the lavatory. Yeah. <laughs> they are bloody dodgy, those locks, aren't they? Mm. Still, better safe than sorry. You don't want someone to catch you on the plot, do you? <laughs> hey, though, but, though, but, me old sausage, though, but, though, but, though, but, though, what, though, but, though, what, though, but? We had a rare old time, didn't we? <laughs> no. <laughs> we didn't really, did we? Five hours we were locked in that bloody lavvy. Five bloody hours. God, I was bored. Well, there's nothing to do once you've read all the papers, is there? You know, please wash your hands, please wash your hands, please wash your hands, please wash your hands, you know. Taking down the interesting phone numbers off the wall. I wonder if that Frank will call me back. <laughs> Seemed like an interesting kind of guy. Yeah. I am eight inches long and three inches round. <laughs> an amazing bloke. <laughs> I wonder what his knob's like. <laughs> Mind you. <laughs> Confess to feeling a little bit delicate this morning. Oh, hey, uh, Eddie, did you get the Sundays? Oh, yes, you know, I think I did. I dropped a floater this morning. <laughs> it looked like it had come straight from a Canadian logging camp. <laughs> I'll tell you, when that one gets out into the channel, it's going to be a danger to shipping. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous banter, Eddie, and jolly interesting information, but uh, I really meant, did you get the Sunday papers? No. No. All right, I'll go and pick them up off the mat. Hey, and don't touch my brick while I'm gone. I said brick. <laughs> Not penis. <laughs> Oh, look, a competition. I want to go to the Bahamas because... <laughs> Must have run out of ink. <laughs> oh, see, so you've got to fill it in! <laughs> All right, let's have a go at this, then. Uh, now, let's be crafty. Um... <laughs> I want to go to the Bahamas because 
It's bloody hot there. <laughs> That's why. What a stupid fucking question. <laughs> and besides, oh, there's lots of birds <laughs> knocking about on the beach. Wearing skimpy bikinis <laughs> with their knockers <laughs> hanging out <laughs> for everyone to get a really, 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 really good look at. <laughs> ah, not bad. A bit long. I'll just take out and. <laughs> it's the on to fucking. Better be on the safe side. Is with their really, 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 really and at. So, now it reads I want to go to the Bahamas because hot girls, skimpy knockers, look at everyone. <laughs> I think I'll send that in. Offer closes 17th of July, 1986. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> I've had enough rhyme of flaming and nice to see me through till doomsday, mate. Oh, in fact, I think I could feel doomsday coming on. Oh, oh, oh you haven't seen the bog roll, have you? The bog roll? Yeah. Yes, you ate it last night, remember? Did I? Yeah, you said it'd save time in the morning. <laughs> Paper then. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, you don't. This is my posh paper for clever people. Here, use your tabloid. That's all it's good for. The Sunday jugs. <laughs> <laughs> How intellectually challenging, Eddie. The Sunday jugs. Oh, 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 oh. And what are the jugs doing today, Eddie? Are the jugs attending the peace conference in Sarajevo? <laughs> Hang on, I'll have a look. Or are the jugs bringing relief supplies to the starving millions in Somalia? No, they're just sort of wobbling about a bit, the same as usual. Oh, blimey, there's a scoop. Oh, hold the front page. Pair of knockers wobble about a bit, same as usual, sensation. Palace prepares statement. <laughs> That's not journalism, Eddie. Oh, yes, it is, mate. <laughs> Look at those. God, she's talented, isn't she? <laughs> How do they get their nipples to do that? <laughs> Why has she got a kitten on her head? Well, you have to read the article that goes with it, Richie. Look, you see, it's, it's about the Chinese year of the cat. So it is. I say, that's awfully clever, isn't it? It's informative, isn't it, yeah, you see? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a veritable encyclopedia of intellectually challenging thoughts and ideas. It is, Eddie, it is. I take it all back. page long enough. <laughs> Haven't quite finished reading it yet. <sighs> yes, there's not really that much to read on it, is <sighs> there?
shit. <laughs> right. Where's the fashion page of the Observer? <laughs> yeah. There's normally some bit of totty kicking her legs up in the middle of a roundabout in Paris wearing a see-through blouse, you know. Poking her nipples into some poor peasant ear <laughs> while he jabs at her hindquarters with a dripping baguette. <laughs> yes, yeah, sirree, these are classy birds, mate. Classy. None of your hunchback, toothless, moonlighting dinner ladies you get in Eddie's rag. <laughs> no, sirree, these birds will swallow the lot and then read you a bit of John Paul Sartre. <laughs> That's what I call class. Ah, oh, here we are. <laughs> oh, looks. <laughs> Hurrah for the new long hemline. <laughs> oh, what a waste of a perfectly good bird. <sighs> no. <laughs> oh, I don't know what the world's coming to. I really don't. Um, uh, oh, I'll have a look in the travel section. Might be a bit of bikini action. Oh, oh that's better. <laughs> And a picture of Sue Carpenter? But, no, no, look, look, look. Eddie Western Supermare. <laughs> Western Supermare. <laughs> oh, look, there's the pier. That's the hotel. So it is. It's incredible. Still standing. <laughs> hey, not like that hotel we stayed in in Scarborough. No. <laughs> I warned you about that paella, didn't I? <laughs> Western Supermare. <sighs> hey. Western Supermare, eh? <laughs> Western Supermare. <laughs> oh, you lost me there. Come on, Western Supermare! <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, me old pal, I had some bloody narrow squeaks in Western Supermare. <laughs> squeaks? You told me that holiday was going to be a two-week blistering sex rampage. It's Western Supermare, Eddie, you said. Western Super Mare! <laughs> Sex Rampage? I've had bigger stiffies watching Playbus. <laughs> Did you just hear the letterbox flapping? <laughs> Don't normally get post on a Sunday, do we? No. What time is it? Turn on the telly. <clears throat> <laughs> ah! No! It's Richard and Judy! Quick, Eddie, quick! Go and get your service revolver! Oh, Tito, okay. oh, Christ, Richard and Judy! <laughs> <laughs> quick, Eddie, she's smiling! <laughs> hurry, Eddie, hurry! Roy fucking castle's coming on! <laughs> On a minute. If it's Richard and Judy, then it, it must be Monday. <sighs> Bloody hell, Eddie! That was a bit of a lock in, wasn't it? Yeah. Two bloody nights drinking! Bloody yeah! Way the lads! <laughs> what? I said, way the lads! Yeah, I thought that's what you said. <laughs> What does it mean? <laughs> God, Eddie, you're such a southerner, aren't you? Us Geordies say it all the time. Way the lads! Had away under shite! <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll repeat it. What the fuck <laughs> does it mean? Way the lads! Yes! Well, it means, uh, it means, uh, uh, it means, uh, come on, everyone, let's weigh all the lads. <laughs> Hello, my name's Richard, I'm 13 and a half stone. And uh, what about you, uh, Spender? <sighs> Front door, Eddie. Hurry along. And why me? 
Well, because if it's a mob of crack-crazed football enthusiasts, hell-bent on buggering the living daylights out of posh householders in a nice district like this, they're likely to think twice when confronted by the whiff of Cro-Magnon Man. <laughs> Fair enough. <sighs> I wonder what the fuck that meant. <laughs> Sounded pretty good, though. <laughs> what of <was> that? <laughs> Nothing. Just an aside. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I told you before, you don't talk to the ordinary people. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? <laughs> oh, it's a fight you want, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Who on earth was it? It was the fucking postman! <laughs> Bastard! Every day the same! Every day he comes round! What does he want? Claims he was delivering the mail. Oh, yeah. You got any proof? A parcel and some letters. Oh, yeah. And who were they addressed to? Us! Us! And who does he think we are? You're probably the people the letters are addressed to. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, right, well... Well, let's not fuck with him anymore. <laughs> I didn't know you were fucking him. <laughs> Come on, Eddie, first letter. Right. <clears throat> Dear sir or madam... Beg your pardon. <laughs> the letter on the phone immediately. I'm not suffering a slur like that. It was just a dodgy batch of hormone replacement tablets, that's all. <laughs> anyway, look, they've gone down now, haven't they? I, I don't think it's about the breast enlargement accident. Who oh, is it? Oh, phew. OK. Carry on. You have been personally selected by our computer... Ooh. <laughs> ..to take part in this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to send us a cheque for £55. Wow! Go on. No, that's it. <laughs> what do you mean, that's it? How do they expect to get away with that? What's the name of the company? Uh, e. Hitler Cash Quick Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Rather a <clears throat> letter. Ooh. Now, this one looks like it's from some solicitors. What? <sighs> Shit, Eddie, don't touch it. <gasps> Too late. <laughs> the dads are already on it. <laughs> cripes, oh, cripes. Oh, cripes. Right. Uh, get, get the Bible and the crucifix. Right. I'll make a pentangle of salt. And uh, No, call the estate agents. We're going to have to move house. No, wipe all the surfaces. Remove all the evidence we were over here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's not about the pet shop, is it? I told you my trousers fell open. <laughs> You know, and I accidentally slipped on some hamster food and my penis inadvertently entered the goldfish tank. <laughs> Too late! I've accidentally opened it! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> no. Oh, blimey! Let's go to the lanny for a couple of days, Eddie. Bastard and dribble. <laughs> Lawyers. For the attention of Richard Richard. <laughs> Owing to the unfortunate demise of your great uncle Norman. Blah, 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 blah. Full stop. Diddly do, 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 diddly do. God. Blimey, they're like some bollocks, these lawyers, don't they? <laughs> blah, 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 15,000 pounds. Immediately! 
In cash! <gasps> this is it, Eddie. This is the big one. Birds, booze, and... Yeah, well, that'll do me, actually. <laughs> Why have you put barbed wire down the middle of the toilet? <laughs> because of the world health crisis. And what exactly do you mean by that? You can catch it off lavatory seats. Catch what? An anus full of razor wire? <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. I mean, have you got a full sexual history of everyone you've ever slept with? Hmm? Yes, I have, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I've got it right here. On me. There. It's a very small piece of paper, isn't it? Oh, Eddie, don't be so judgmental. It's quality that counts, not quantity. And it's blank. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a devastatingly accurate report. I wish I'd never commissioned it now. I employed a private investigator. Three weeks he took. Three whole weeks. All he did was stand around in the garden all day looking at my hedge. And then four days later, I found out he was a private investigator. <laughs> Got to get that typewriter fixed. <laughs> anyway, you can come off your high horse. What about your sexual history? I have got nothing to hide. No, not after three pints, you haven't, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's glug, glug, glug. Ooh, look, Eddie, there's Ethel Cardew. Yeah, Ethel Cardew. And it's down with the trousers and out with the spotlight, isn't it? <laughs> We've been thrown out of many a good snug because of your knob impressions, haven't we? <laughs> We've seen them all. Big Ben. Zulu's at dawn. <laughs> Churchill looking startled. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's what I call safe sex. It's not what the police called it. They called it incitement to riot. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, enough of that bollocks, Eddie. Tell me the worst. <laughs> what did the solicitors want? Ooh, blimey! Now, that's an interesting-looking package. Why, thank you, Eddie. <laughs> I meant the parcel on the table. Huh? <laughs> You didn't tell me there was a parcel. Oh, oh fantastic! Oh, that's great. I love surprises. Ha ha ha. What did you do that for? It was a surprise. <laughs> didn't you like it? But you're always kicking me in the knackers. Where's the surprise in that? I used the other foot. <laughs> Pass the pliers, would you? I think I need to dislodge a couple of items. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, me, old pal. Dislodged them. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> Red. What? Trap. <laughs> Bloody right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but a spazzy footwork, eh? Be packing in. We're too old for this. Oh, look at me sweating like I've been masturbating for a month.
Yeah, well, you have, haven't you? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's been a long tour, hasn't it? <laughs> I say, it's a bloody good job these towels were here, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> Cracking bit of luck. <sighs> you all right? I, I actually hit you on the nose then, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's OK. Take your time. I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm OK. <laughs> Where the fuck are we? <laughs> oh, yes, I know, yes. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, why does everything we do have to degenerate into mindless violence? <laughs> because that's the way we like it. Yes, I suppose you're right, you insane old git. Come on, let's shake and make up. <laughs> Great guy. <laughs> Come on, let's open up the parcels, see what we've got. No! Oh, bollocks! <laughs> they have to be awfully big ones. <laughs> no, it's, it's the wrong address. No. Oh. This is for a professor. Richard Muck Richard. <laughs> Mafeking Terrace Young Ladies Hospital. <laughs> Research Department. Please rush my love item to me. <laughs> I am over 18. <laughs> oh, bugger, and it looks so damnedly intriguing. <sighs> you all right, Richie? What? Yeah, 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 just trying to think fast, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> That'll work. Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Read me that name again, would you, Andy? Uh, Professor Richard Muck Richard. Yes, of course, I'm being stupid. <laughs> surprise me. What? I said, surprise me. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> My testicles. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, Professor Richard Muck. Richard. Yep. Yes, now then, he's my uh, Scottish relative, you know. Oh, yes. yes. And he's a professor, you see, and he asked me to look after some items of, uh, of a medical nature <laughs> for him while he's away in uh, uh, oh, me, gummy, gummy, gum, gum, gum land. <laughs> right, I better just uh, open it up and check that it, it's all there. <gasps> Yeah, that all seems to be in order. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, is that the time? Do you know, I think I'll turn in early tonight, Eddie. <laughs> what do you mean, it's only half past ten in the morning? Oh, stop being so pedantic. We've only just found out it's Monday, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right up. Nighty night, Eddie. See you in the morning. If I've still got the power of sight. <laughs> Good. He's gone. What the fuck, I dial? <laughs> Hello? Will I hold what? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Bastard, yes, good morning. Yes, I'm phoning about Richard Richard and the 15 grand that's owing. Yes, well, I was just wondering, um, if something should happen to Richard, uh, I mean, nothing serious, you know, just should he, uh, stop living <laughs> for a while? <laughs> Who would the 15 grand that's owed pass on to? I see, the next of kin. Now, 
Is that a sort of blood relative? Or could it be your kind of best drinking buddy of a Saturday night kind of guy? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, how do you get to be next of kin then? Yes, marriage. Yeah. Or adoption. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, well, thank you very much, Mr. Bastard, and uh, good morning. <laughs> My name? Uh, uh, J. R. Hartley. <laughs> Delighted to send a sign, Picky. Yes. Yeah, uh, and, and a test tube full of my love juice. <laughs> right, well, thank you very much, Mr. Morning, and good bastard. <laughs> oh. This is it, Eddie. This is the big one. And I don't mean that crap sitcom on Channel 4 with Sandy Toxvig in it. <laughs> hey, hey. smell. Have you been saying Sandy talks big again? <laughs> Sorry, Rich. Well, don't. You know it brings on my eczema. Uh, where are your trousers? What? Uh, oh, they blew off in a storm, Eddie. <laughs> uh, listen, Eddie. Have you got the pump? <laughs> no, it's just the way I'm standing. <laughs> It's a euphemism. It's what? God, on and on it goes. Oh, look, it's no double entendre. Uh, it's just a straight question. Okay. Have you got the pump? No. <laughs> the only pump we've got is that big electric one that Gusty O Windflap had installed, remember? When he was rehearsing his adult variety act. The human balloon. Gusty a wonderful <laughs> laugh. <laughs> now, whatever happened to him? He was spread over four counties, remember? When the nozzle got accidentally lodged in his rectum. <laughs> so he was, so he was. What a dreadfully sad thing to happen to anyone. How we laughed. <laughs> <laughs> He was a one-off. Yeah. I've heard about being blown off, but that took some beating. Yeah. <laughs> they had to close the high street, do you remember? So they did, so they did. <gasps> gusty, 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 gusty. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, well, who gives a fuck about him? The cunt's dead anyway, so... <laughs> so what you're saying is that, Eddie, the only pump in the house is right here, in the drawing room. That's right, me old cock-a-leaky mate, flap sparrow, cock me rhyming bollocks. <laughs> and it can't be moved from here. Uh, no. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> so, uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what are you doing today, Eddie? Well, it's a Monday, isn't it? You know, start of a new week. New prospects, new horizons. So, you know, I think I might just sit on the sofa and wait till Emmerdale comes on the telly. <laughs> Which could be some considerable time. <laughs> Why, what are you doing today, Rich? Just hanging about the flat till I go out so you can have a wank? <laughs> <laughs> Who tells you these things? Are you a member of the occult? What did you just call me? <laughs> a member of the occult. Right, that's it, matey. God, a bloody horrible smell. <sighs> Eau de toilette. <laughs> it's what? This, Eddie, is the latest fragrance from Paris. Well, they're having trouble with their sewers again. <laughs> Look, Eddie, if you really must know, uh -huh. I mean, if you really, really must know, uh, I, oh, I uh, have got a bird coming round. 
<laughs> a bird? Yes, a bird. A real bird. A real great big bird with real great big wobbly knockers hanging off like they're going out of fashion. <laughs> So I don't want you cluttering up the place, polluting the atmos with your foul dog breath and spoiling my chances. Because I'll tell you what, my old mate, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm bloody well on here. On! 100% cert. <laughs> oh, she's blind! <laughs> Just cos you've never had a bird round the flat. <laughs> what about that owl? <laughs> yeah, but you didn't get a shag off her, though, did you? <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> wasn't for the want of trying. <laughs> you had to bring that up again, didn't you? <laughs> I thought that was all water under the bridge. <laughs> oh, Susie. <laughs> Hours, <laughs> I don't know, someone had stuffed her already. <laughs> so, you want me out of the way then? Oh, thanks, Eddie. I knew you'd come round in the end. Bye. How much have you got? Not a lot. Yeah, I know that, but I'm talking about money. <laughs> <laughs> you blood sucking hell fiend! And I thought you were my best friend! Uh, Yes, I'm afraid I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you are. God, life's a bitch. <laughs> All right, just this once, you can have my emergency fiver. <laughs> my emergency fiver's gone. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it blew away. <laughs> well, it must have been a hell of a gust, steady. I nailed it down. <laughs> Fuck me, the nails have gone too. <laughs> Where can it be? Search me, mate. <laughs> well, that is a bloody good idea. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> the emergency fiver in your top pocket. Edward, Elizabeth, <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> you are a fucking genius. <laughs> I knew you'd know where it'd be. There's a fiver. <laughs> There's a hat. There's a coat. Now fuck off and don't come back. <laughs> All right then. But I shall be back just as soon as I have spent it. Righto. But that's ridiculous. <laughs> well, uh, uh, she hasn't come yet. Well, that's no big surprise, is it? <laughs> I mean, she's hardly likely to have an orgasm with you, is she? Of course she's not going to have an orgasm, Eddie. She's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where do you pick up your sexual mores? In the beano? <laughs> now, come on, clear off. 
Oh, blimey. <laughs> you can get through money quickly in a big city like this, can't you? Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> no sooner was I out of the front door than it had gone. <laughs> Bloody muggers everywhere. I think I've lost another tooth. Henny, you've been mugged? Yeah. Great heavens, are you OK? Did you get a good look at him? I mean, you know, could you describe him? Yes. He was, he was about my age. About my height. Uh, glasses. Stupid little fucking hat. <laughs> and he was wearing these exact clothes. <laughs> You mugged yourself. That's right, matey. And made a fiver out of it. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm off out again. <laughs> See you later. You are beautiful. <laughs> Why don't you relax and unwind for a while <laughs> on the chasey longue? <laughs> I'll be back in a mo, a sex mo. <laughs> <sighs> Just getting the hand cream, baby. <laughs> Just chucking the lid away. We won't need that anymore, cos we're gonna get through the whole blammin' lot tonight! <laughs> oh. 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 I'll just go and activate the pump. <laughs> right. Shit, it's Eddie again! Shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh, Monica! out of your own front door. <laughs> Still, made another fiver out of it. That's, uh, 15 quid so far. <laughs> I could be a millionaire by the morning. Eddie, could you explain to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, one of my intestines seems to have prolapsed. <laughs> I really must get it fixed sometime. Eddie, why do you keep coming back? Oh, I forgot to pick up the solicitor's letter. <laughs> and what do you want with the solicitor's letter, Eddie? Uh, uh, fuck, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, I thought if I took it, I'd probably get mugged again. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, then the muggers would take it, right, and we would never hear of it again? <laughs> well, Eddie, that's a fantastic plan. What could go wrong with something like that? Right, I'll be off again then. <laughs> Taxi! The Copacabana! <laughs> yeah, well, wait for me, you little bastard. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right, -o. take care, Eddie. <laughs> If only. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monica. <gasps> Alone at last. Time to descend <laughs> to the very depths of erotic experimentation. <laughs> I'll just shove you on the pump for a while. <laughs> <laughs> just a quick gust of love air, my angel, and we'll be in paradise. <gasps> Contact! 
It works! Oh, Monica. Monica! You're beautiful! Oh, look at her! Oh, that'll do. Don't want to shag a fatty. <laughs> Mommy, I just this thing off. Hello, my dear. <laughs> and how extraordinary that fate should have thrown us together like this. Are you looking for a bit of slidey pump pump action as well? <laughs> I thought so. So let's get romantic. Gosh, it's uh, very hot in here tonight, isn't it, Monica? Fuck it, well, it is actually, isn't it? <laughs> you must be very warm, Monica, in all that bra. <laughs> Why don't you uh, take it off? <coughs> Go on. <laughs> Pop them out! <laughs> Give them a good old flapping! <laughs> what do you say, Monica? <laughs> I'm home! <sighs> I'll help you, shall I? It'll be more erotic. <clears throat> How do bras work? I've never seen one before. <laughs> Monica. Uh, would you care to dart? <laughs> You're very keen tonight, Monica. <laughs> Normally have a bit of a dance first. Oh, Monica, you're beautiful. Oh, our lovemaking is going to go on and on, on and on and on. I've got a good, what, three or four minutes in me tonight. <laughs> oh, let us dance. Dance the dance of lovers. <laughs> on and on. <laughs> our dancing will... <laughs> That's enough of that. You can overdo it with the romance, don't you find? Yeah. <laughs> You've puffed out for the knobbing, eh? <laughs> Let's get the hand cream. Oh, here we go. Run with me, my angel. <laughs> Run with me to our love grotto behind the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monica. Monica, you are so... Get off! <laughs> oh, Christ, she's stuck! <laughs> Richard! Uh, uh, there's no-one at home, Eddie. I, I mean, I'm in the lobby. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, sorry, Eddie, I've decided we're incompatible flatmates. Sorry, me old pal, it's just one of those things. Uh, goodbye forever, and close the door as you go. That's going to be a little bit difficult, I'm afraid. It, it, it's come off its hinges again. <laughs> You must learn to use a door handle. Yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'd better fix the door. Ah, uh, now. Oh, where's the uh, super glue gone? 
I left it here in the hand cream jar. <laughs> Super glue? Yes. Super glue in the hand cream jar? You got it. <laughs> I, I think I left it in the lobby, Eddie. Oh, right, I'll go and find it. <gasps> Super fucking glue! <laughs> Here, look, you two, grab that. <laughs> oh, Christ, he's coming back! What's what? That. I, I can't see anything. The thing you're trying to hide behind the curtain. Oh, that? Uh, uh, oh, don't worry about that, Eddie. I just uh, got a bit of a stiffy, that's all. A <laughs> uh, what? You know, it's a gentleman's early morning thing. A toothbrush? <laughs> no, look, bugger off, Eddie. I've got a popping great trumpet under here. Well, let's have a look at it, then. No. <laughs> Funny-looking trumpet, isn't it? <laughs> Is that where you blow? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, Eddie, I'm being so gauche, aren't I? I haven't introduced you yet. Uh, Monica, this is Eddie. Eddie, this is Monica. <laughs> where? Here! Oh, no. Super <laughs> <laughs> From the circus. <laughs> Do you mind? She's a respectable woman. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> and, um, is this the box she came in? <laughs> oh, blimey, she's a busy woman, isn't she? She's got three working offices. <laughs> Own up. It's just a bottom of the range six foot plastic doll you've inadvertently super glued to your penis. <laughs> Prove it! <laughs> <Ta -da>! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> right, so, it's a fight. Is it? Oh, good. <laughs> uh, there's only one thing, me old pal. I've got a bit of a girly super glue to the end of my knob, so uh, be a pal and give it a bit of a yank, would you? All right. Uh, well, careful, Eddie. Oh. Rather special, actually. And they say there aren't enough women in comedy. <laughs> Let's have a look at the little beauty. I think the stone chisel ought to crack it. Right, Ed. Oh, there you ready? In your own time, Eddie. Okay. Oh. 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 You know, that's really quite an impressive stiffy you've got down there. <laughs> I think I shall have to use the drill. What? No, do you know I've changed my mind, Eddie? I think I can live with it. Here sort goes. of fashion accessory that. with the hacksaw. Hang on, this isn't going to hurt, is it? I bloody well hope so. <laughs> Here we go. I bloody well... <laughs> You are a genius! Well done! There's only one thing. What? You've just cut off my knob. <laughs> You've just cut off my knob! Where? Ah! Oh, good. 
He's gone. Actually, the same gag. Uh, <laughs> but you see, the thing is, uh, I like it a lot. <laughs> Hello? Shotgun, bastard, and dribble. <gasps> Phew! Another piece of incredibly fortuitous dialing. <laughs> <laughs> right, settle down. <sighs> Back to the plot. <clears throat> What there is of it. <laughs> Ooh, in fact, this is it coming up now. <laughs> that fucking time. <laughs> See if you can spot it. <laughs> Hello, yes. This is Eddie Richard calling. <gasps> yes, I've recently become Richard Richard's closest living relative. Uh, very recently. Yeah, about three minutes ago. <laughs> yes, now. I was just wondering about the £10,000 that passes on to the next of kin should Richie tragically and accidentally pass on in about 10 minutes. <laughs> and I was just wondering, you know, which, which form of accidental death, you know, poisoning, bludgeoning, mincing, uh, whether any particular one is, is more legally binding than another. <laughs> I see. Anyone will do as long as the bastard's dead. <laughs> Thank you very much, and... Fuck off! <laughs> oh, I feel good. <sighs> right, where's the goat poison? <sighs> Ooh! <sighs> this looks like it. <laughs> no need to miss out on the plot just cos you're in the cheap seats. <laughs> No knob. <laughs> no knob. <laughs> no knob. <laughs> Not a bit of a knob. Just uh -uh. no knob. <gasps> I've got absolutely nothing to do. <gasps> what am I going to do with my hands all day? <laughs> Boys, we'll think of something. No, oh, there's not even any point in me putting my hands in my pockets anymore. <laughs> I don't think I can face tonight. Maybe you won't have to. <laughs> what do you mean? Cup of tea. <laughs> Monica. Oh, Monica. Really did, really did. <laughs> oh, Monica. You were the first, and you were the last. You took my cherry. <laughs> right off. <laughs> hey, bloody hell, that's a point. Oh, look, Eddie. There it is. Where? In the corner, at the back, look. <laughs> Come on, let's pack it in ice and get down the hospital. No, hang on, Richie. I think it's just a peanut. Oh. <sighs> or it could be a match head. It might even be a shadow. Hang on. Ooh, no, there is something there. It's a shriveled up raisin. Is it? Well, come on, let's get down to the hospital and sew it off. <laughs> it's a what? It's a shriveled up raisin. Oh, God, so it is. Uh, uh, uh. It's a bloody good look alike, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on, but this means. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you.
YouTube. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I'm a real man again. Loaded up and fired up and ready to go. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy, do you know, I'm so happy I could watch a whole episode of From May to December without vomiting blood. <laughs> now, that's happy. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> no, no, Eddie, no, no, no. Ooh! 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 That's insane. <laughs> Come on, let's celebrate, let's do something, let's go on holiday. No, I tell you what, why don't you just sit down and have a nice celebratory cup of tea. <laughs> Great big hairy lesbian mammoth bollocks to that. <laughs> Come on, let's take my new knob on holiday and get 300 tons worth of shagging done. Yeah, it, it's never quite worked out like that for us, has it? <laughs> remember Weston, remember Scarborough. <laughs> Scarborough. Scarborough. <laughs> Damn that bloody nudist colony. Three weeks I was there, three whole weeks. I had absolutely nothing on and I still didn't see any action. Well, you were the only one there. Yeah, well, it's cheaper off-season, isn't it? Well, it's bloody tricky playing volleyball all on your own, though. Especially skidding about on all that ice. <laughs> I'll tell you, Scarborough can get quite fucking nippy in January. <laughs> As icy winds blast straight across the North Sea all the way from Siberia. Do you know? A photographer turned up from Health and Efficiency magazine. Thought I was a girl for the first four days. <laughs> and then it warmed up a bit, you know. And he buggered off. Yeah, well, look on the bright side, Richie. I mean, at least you got that full page spread in Razzle. <laughs> Shame it was in the reader's wives section. <laughs> Damn those paparazzi! Damn them, they just hound you, idiot. Hound you and they hound you and they hound you. I'll tell you, now I know how that... I don't know how I fuck that up, didn't I? <laughs> I thought you were doing it rather better than usual, actually. Yes. Right? <laughs> we need to do it again, otherwise it'd look wanky on the All video. Right. Okay. <laughs> hush now, hush. We're working. Those paparazzi, Eddie, damn them. They just hound you and hound you and hound you. I tell you, now I know how that Sarah Ferguson feels. You never copped a feel off her, did you? <laughs> of course I didn't, Eddie. <sighs> Everyone else has. <laughs> That's true. Uh, now, what about this cup of tea? What cup of tea? <laughs> that cup of tea. <laughs> You've made me a cup of tea. What's so surprising about that? Well, you never made me a cup of tea before in your life. Are you trying to queer me up? <laughs> no, I've just made you a cup of tea because I... ...like you. <gasps> you are trying to queer me up. <gasps> Look, it's just a selfless gesture because I admire and respect you so much. <laughs> now drink the fucking tea! <laughs> you want to split your head open with a meat cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. Well, fancy you making me a cup of tea, Eddie. Oh. What a lovely gesture. I say, you're a dark horse, aren't you, Eddie? You don't often make lovely gestures, but... Jesus Christ! It's got purple fizzing lumps in it. <laughs> I can't drink that. Looks like that stuff that bird threw up in The Exorcist. <laughs> Stephen King writes novels about evil like this. I better get rid of it. <laughs> Fuck me! Oh. Mm, what a lovely cup of tea, Eddie. How refreshing. Uh, excuse me, I've just blown off. <laughs> Drink it? Yes. <laughs> it's mine! Oh, mine! I know, and it was marvelous! <laughs> How do you feel? I get my hands and go like that. <laughs> no, I mean, are you okay? 
Am I okay? Yeah. yeah. Ish. Well, well, it's a, well, we've got a big topic, isn't it? I mean, is Richie, is Richie okay? I mean, it's a huge subject. Actually, this will be fun. Let's sit down for the Richie conversation. No. Is Richie okay? Hang right. No, wait, we need pencils, we no. need papers. I think I'll just make you another cup of tea first. You're looking a bit frisky. Oh, no, thanks, Eddie. No, I'm replete. <laughs> I'm not going down into that lot to get it back, either. <laughs> All right, I'll go and find the meat cleaver. <sighs> but what about the Richie conversation? <sighs> oh, all right, I'll have the Richie conversation all on my own. I'll get the pencils, I'll get the papers. God, it's like living in Nazi Germany in this flat. <sighs> Paper. Pencil. Pencil. Pen. Fucking. So. <laughs> What's this? Shotgun, bastard and dribble. Lawyers. For the attention of Richard Richard. <laughs> Owing to the unfortunate demise of your great uncle Norman. Blah de blah de blah. 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 Diddly do, diddly do, diddly do. <laughs> Blimey, they write some bollocks, these lawyers, don't they? <laughs> blah de blah, PTO. Blah de blah de blah, 15,000 <laughs> 15,000 pounds! <laughs> 15,000 pounds! Payable immediately! In cash! <laughs> 15,000 pounds payable immediately in cash! <laughs> if this debt is not settled... If this debt is not settled... By two o'clock today, then. Uh huh. Really do. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Clip. <laughs> Well, I never even heard of that one before. <laughs> I haven't got 15,000 pounds. I haven't got 15 pence. Oh, capricious fortune plays her cards with me like a Mississippi boat whore. <laughs> <laughs> Why do these things keep happening to me? I get a bird, she explodes. I patch her up again, I accidentally superglue her onto my knob. <laughs> then I get my knob cut off. And now I find I'm going to be hounded throughout the world until this forfeit is paid in my blood. <sighs> oh, fate. <laughs> oh, fate. Well, oh, fuck, really. <laughs> Very well. So be it. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> you what? Eddie, I have some sad and tragic news. You're going to top yourself? What? You are going to top yourself? No, because I'm not going to top myself. I've been topping myself for years. Look at those blisters. <laughs> Didn't do me any good, just dimmed my eyesight a bit. No, my insane old elephant's testicle of a pal. <sighs> I have decided to commit suicide. <laughs> but that is fantastic! Fantastic news! I know you'll be lonely. <gasps> uh, what? That is fantastic news! Are you going to go today? I mean, it would be a help. <laughs> Eddie, I realise you're trying to put a brave face on this, but uh, don't you think that particular face was just a smidgen too fucking brave? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that's just a brilliant idea, Richie. I mean, what have you got to live for? It what have I got to live for? What a ridiculous question! <laughs> uh, Look, take it from me, I'm your best friend. You're a sad, ugly, foul-smelling, unpopular, friendless... arsehead. <laughs> and everyone you have ever met would prefer it if you were dead. Rubbish! Rubbish! A. Bollocks! Uh -huh. And B. Well, I don't need a B, because the A was so great. <laughs> right, then, so, basically, your sole reason for living is... bollocks. <laughs> Maybe. 
Well, that's an unusual philosophical stance. Yes, I know. I think I put my trousers on too quickly just now. <laughs> oh, stick to the point, Eddie. I thought we were talking philosophy. Well, we were, but your philosophy is bollocks. So let's talk bollocks! But that's all we ever do! <laughs> so let's do what we always do! God, and so it goes on, day after day, year in, year out, slime in this ear, slime in that ear. Don't you have a for change? <laughs> line again in front of all your friends? <laughs> I was actually born in Southampton. <laughs> my mother. Varney I've ever seen. <laughs> Look, get on. Get on with the fucking play. <laughs> I 
Uh, it's very unprofessional. They're making a fucking video. Right. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> It'll never work again. Ralphie, Ralphie, Ralphie. Uh, oh! Straight to the point, Richie! You've got a brain like a car crash. <laughs> There's bits flying everywhere. <laughs> This suicide. Right, yes. Oh, yes, my suicide. Yes, yes. Yes, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> right, sit down, <laughs> Sit down. I've got some sad and tragic news. <laughs> I've got some sad and tragic news, right? You don't look very upset about it. <laughs> Sad and try. Oh, I've done that one. <laughs> Listen, I've decided to kill myself, Eddie. Because oh, I'm so tragically in debt. Fucking hell! <laughs> A line from the play! <laughs> Southampton. <laughs> Stop laughing! Imagine you're watching Ben Helton or something. <laughs> nah. What was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided to kill myself, Eddie. <clears throat> because I'm so tragically in debt. Ooh. <laughs> How much? Fifteen thousand pounds. Fifteen thousand pounds. Fifteen thousand pounds. <laughs> what a pity there isn't a small windfall coming along that could pay it off in one fell blow. <laughs> well, it's a nice thought, Eddie, but I hardly think one of your titanic guffers could be described as a small windfall. <laughs> Nor in all stupidity could the whiff pay off the debt. So, no, suicide it is. <laughs> That's... That's actually rather sad. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to be me, old mate. Gas! Gun! Rope! Or are you just gonna masturbate yourself to death? <laughs> <laughs> you know, come to think of it, your whole life has been one long, slow suicide attempt, really, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, I got so many crinkly Kleenex under my mattress, I have to go up a stepladder every night just to get into bed. <laughs> no, this is it. The die is cast. Suicide you, you it is. <laughs> the last of the Richards. <laughs> hey, actually, that's a point, Eddie. You know, I don't have anyone to hand on my estate to. Gosh, you know, I really think I owe it to the family to call this suicide off until I've sired an heir. No! No! <laughs> no need, Richie. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> look, I wasn't actually going to tell you this, but, well, I sort of half anticipated this problem, and so this afternoon I went to see Dodgy Ken the lawyer. Dodgy Ken! Is he out already? He got out this morning. <laughs> Prison governor doesn't know yet, so I was lucky to catch him, really. <laughs> now, if you'd just like to sign here. Ooh, signing? Hey, yeah. that's important. Oh, I'm your man. I'm a good signer. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Bloody right, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> So 
don't encourage him. <laughs> right. <clears throat> what the fuck was that, anyway? It's called signing with a flourish, Eddie. They do it in all the best novels. Oh, Christ. I think I put my shoulder out. <laughs> God, just stop being sexy. <laughs> Yes, you really, really must. <laughs> right, well, no need to worry about being the end of the line. Because I am now your legally adopted son. <laughs> what? You're my son? I'm afraid so. <gasps> but, 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 but you are my son? <laughs> yep, indeed he do. <laughs> Hello, Dad. <laughs> hey, that's a point. I couldn't tap you for a bit of pocket money, could I? Shut up! You bastard, you made me sign this! Oh, God, it's true! It's true! Hang on. This is a marriage certificate. I know, Dad. He'd run out of adoption ones. But he said that that would still be legally binding. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Darling? <laughs> We're married. <laughs> Afraid so? Maybe. <laughs> You're my wife! Yeah, well, don't rub it in. I have absolutely no intention of rubbing it in, young <laughs> In young woman. I mean... You're my wife! Yeah, that's about the size of it! Sugar? <laughs> You're my wife. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it is a fight. Yeah, you your buttocks, wife oh, oh, Good. What? Oh, <laughs> I can do better than Mike Gatting did today. <laughs> and sequestration of all your assets. <laughs> Bastard, Eddie. Ten minutes ago, I thought things couldn't get any worse. Now I find I'm a pauper. I'm married. My wife's fucked off with all the money. <laughs> and I didn't even get a shag! <laughs> Fate deals me blow after blow. Yeah, I'm sorry about all that, Richie, but... Yeah, no. <sighs> Who gives a fuck? It's only you. <laughs> Not to worry, Eddie. It's just another spur to my suicide. Now, come on, let's hurry up and kill me before you get pissed and try and consummate the marriage. <laughs> All right, well, have you had any thoughts on how you'd like to go? Ooh, uh... Excellent choice. <laughs> Electric chair, it is. Instantaneous, and you won't feel a thing. Electric chair, the choice of the star. <laughs> I shall be but a moment. <sighs> Oh, 
she's gone. This is it. I'm all alone. My last few moments. Possibly only a minute to live. What shall I do with my last few moments? Ever <laughs> wait! It's a common in Southampton. <laughs> Sailor. <laughs> You're not sitting under there. I should put your brollies up if I was you. <laughs> oh, God. My fucking knees. <laughs> Sorry, Lord. Full start. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy, Lord. Lordy. <laughs> Look, man to man. Well, man to Lordy. <laughs> are we talking tridents up the Jackson? Or are we talking harps on clouds, you know, with all angels all flapping about the place? All looking like Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> Actually, that's a point, Lordy. Eh? You know, oh, I've often thought this. You know, uh, oh, you know, uh, girl angels, right? Well, you know how they have those big wings at the back? <laughs> well, does that sort of preclude them from fastening their bras at the back? <laughs> does it? So what, do they just not bother? <laughs> I mean, I know it's a holy place, you know, and we've all done art O-level. <laughs> but I mean, rum and blum, it must be a bit of a jug fest up there, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, no wonder all the bloke angels all flap about the place blowing their own trumpets. So look, Lordy, if you could just see your way to give me some sort of sign as to, you know, which way I'm going, then I'd know whether to follow through with all of this, because... You know, I mean, if it's all going to be whipping and screaming and leather and restraints, then obviously, I'm on. <laughs> hey, well, in that case, it doesn't really matter which way I go, does it? It's a sort of universal juggerama. <laughs> hey, hurry up, Eddie, I'm dying to shuffle off this mortal coil and get myself a Major League Eiffel at last! <laughs> Problem on the electric chair, Front Richie, but oh. never mind. I've improvised Ooh. and I've come up with. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> the electric lavatory! Oh. Eddie! Eddie! It's magnificent. I mean, state of the art or what? I mean, Gary Gilmore yeah. and Al Capone, you know, and, and Bonnie and Clyde, they all thought they were really hard and great and cool, didn't they? But uh-uh, no way did they have double flush action and blue loo round the U-bend. That's right, mate. So I'd just like to sit yourself here. Right-o. Yep. Trousers on or off? On, I think. You can never quite be sure about the effects of the high voltage. <laughs> Ooh, it's a snug fit. Right. Put this on here. Oh. Right. Here we go, then. Yep. Oh, Eddie, have I got time to say goodbye to all my friends? Uh, I don't think five seconds is going to make much difference here or there. <laughs> here goes, then. Bye-bye, uh, Eddie. Yep. Bye. <laughs> and that's that done. Good. <laughs> then we can get going. <laughs> I'll just uh, turn it all on, and we'll be on our way. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Frying tonight. <laughs> oh, blimey. Eddie, any chance of a prayer? You haven't got one, mate. <laughs> now, are you ready to go? Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, no, wait, Eddie, wait. Look, I, I, ju um, I just want to say that, you know, we've known each other a long time, and, you know, I, well, I know we've had our little spats. <laughs> Well, we've had our big spats, too, haven't we? Oh, this is stupid. Look, I guess all I'm really trying to say is thank you for being my friend. <laughs> yeah, all right, on we go. Uh, did you hear what I said? Uh, yes. Now, uh, hold tight, because you might feel a bit of a tingle. <laughs> and five, four, three, 
seven, twelve, twenty-six. Fuck, I wish I could count. <laughs> hey, go. <laughs> like having it off with Bonnie Langford this really isn't it Eddie? <laughs> oh hang on I think I can see the problem <laughs> telephone <gasps> it's all go today isn't it <laughs> <laughs> hello Richard Richard no he can't quite get to the phone at the moment uh, this is Eddie Richard his son and wife <laughs> It's Sue Carpenter. <gasps> Sue Carpenter! Get down, Shep! <laughs> she says she wants to have wild, unbridled, passionate sex with you. Absolutely no questions asked. <gasps> really? No, only joking. <laughs> she wants to do it with me. God, Eddie, how do you do it? You sort of... Get on top and wriggle about the place a bit. What, no foreplay? Nah, mate. Just the two of us. Oh. <laughs> yes, just keep your voice down, Mr Bastard, or he'll hear you. <laughs> Not quite gone yet. <laughs> yes, about the £15,000 debt. Uh, ooh, ooh, one small question. Uh, what do you mean precisely by the word debt? <sighs> There's a bastard on the phone that says you and I, as your legal son and wife, owe him 15 grand. And if he doesn't get it by 2 o'clock, he's going to come round here and drive slowly over our testes <laughs> with a steamroller. <laughs> and that's just the hall's duvet. <laughs> It's already, you vast, poisoned, intergalactic buttock from Sainsbury's. <laughs> That's why I'm killing myself. Jesus Christ, and look at the time. That's it, matey. Shift over. Give me one of those electrodes. Right, this is it. This is it. Off we go. Oh, good night. <laughs> Thank you.